yes, he's a public figure and so on and so forth. But to me, this guy was very close. I held him so close to my heart. And this is why I left Lusaka to come here and uh, uh, mourn him. Of course, I've seen other people making comments and trying to politicize everything, which is quite unfortunate. I, un I don't understand why we like to politicize everything. We even want to politicize death. Why are we politicizing death? Why are we doing politics with a dead man? Even if we are so anxious about about politics, even if we are so excited, why are we doing politics with a dead man? Why are we doing politics with a dead man? He can't answer you. He can't respond to you. He can't respond to you. So why are you provoking Tutwa in his death? Why? Why? What is wrong with us? What is wrong with us? What is wrong with some of you people? What kind of bitterness do you have? What kind of bitterness do you have that you, you have to start, you know, disparaging somebody who is dead? He can't respond to you. He can't respond to you. So why are you throwing shade on him? Why are you throwing shade on him? Even if he had done something that hates you, the guy is gone. The guy is gone. He's gone. He's gone. Why? 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 Why are we like this? I am very, very sad. I read if it is true, if that comment is true, coming from Laura Mitty. If indeed that statement is true, it's coming from Laura Mitty. I am very disappointed. I read a statement which was which is attributed to Laura Mitty, where he's saying, "Why do we like to speak good or?" when somebody's dead and so on and so forth, you know. Myself, when I die, I don't want you to change the story, to change the history. The guy died, he was a political nuisance. Honestly, how bitter is Laura Mitty, honestly? If that indeed is true, how bitter is she? How bitter is she? What is wrong with that woman? What is wrong with Laura Mitty? What is wrong with that woman? How was she raised? I'm wondering, how was Laura Mitty raised? How has she lived her adulthood? Is it the lack of love? Is it lack of love? Laura Mitty, maybe she was not, she was not loved. Maybe she has not experienced love. And she's bitter and she's just pouring it out on other people because this is what happens some of these people that just have can't take back and they just they just they just say things whatever it is how could you say that about a man who is gone for what for what even if we canonize him, we say he was a good man and whatever, whatever. So what? What you? Are, what are you going to lose? What is Raul Amit going to lose? If some of us, I mean, like the way I feel, I feel so bad. I feel so hurt with what has happened. I feel so broken. And I look at Tutu as a good man and everything. What is Raul Amit going to lose? What is she getting out of? Those kind of those those terrible com terrible comments. I've also seen some other propaganda, especially from some of the UPND uh, pages. Even some of the UPND members making comments, even on my page, making comments, making very mean comments. My brothers and sisters, we can. We can differ, even me. We have differences and so on and so forth. But when somebody's dead, I mean, what, 
what 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 more pain do you want to inflict on a dead man a dead man is gone you can't inflict pain on him you can't inflict pain on him he's gone he's not gonna hear you of all the bad things that you want to say he's not gonna hear you but you see the people that you are hating you are hating the family the family that has lost you are hating the children that have lost those are the ones who are reading those things him is gone you can't do anything to him so it's useless to say bad things about this person because really he has paid the ultimate price he's dead he's dead so whether he did something good or he did something bad i mean the guy is dead the guy is dead but who are you at who are you hating you are hating the family you are hating those who have left those who have remained those who are feeling we have lost our person those are the people that you are hating it is really really sad that we 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 we, we want to turn out to be this bitter society no no it's not right it's not right it's not right two twice god is gone whether you liked him you didn't like him the guy is gone so why should you be fighting him when he's gone leave him leave him let the man rest in peace you are only hating those who have remained behind please let us not fight with dead people let us not attack dead people they are already gone it's as good as you know you are kicking into the body of somebody how what kind of society are we what kind of people are we no 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 this is not this is not right this is not right i felt very bad and really i hope somewhere somehow i'm hoping that that statement is not coming from laura mit because that bitterness needs you know psychotherapy if if indeed that is true is coming from laura mit i want to say laura mit then needs psychotherapy she needs to be checked psychologically i'm telling you if she, if that statement is coming from laura mit she needs to be checked because there is no one who is that bitter who is that bitter to speak like that about uh, about uh, a dead man we are all not perfect we are all not perfect even laura mit is not perfect i am not perfect all of us were not perfect but when we are gone people want to remember the positive things the good things you can't emphasize one thing because he said i'm going to break his bones and you want to turn his entire life into that one negative thing that is what you want people to be remembering you want people to remember just that bad there is a lot of good there are a lot of people here in kabwe who are flocking to his house for the good man that he was i'm here because of the good man that he was that's why i'm here and there are so many people that are coming to that funeral house because of the good man that he was there is a woman who is in that funeral house who is crying for the husband because of the good man that he was there are children who are crying for their father because of the good man that he was and we have now one bitter woman wanting to pour or to throw everything all the good that tutwa was she wants to just throw it into mud so that all of us we can look at this man as somebody very bad no doubt tutwa had his weaknesses no doubt tutwa did wrong things no doubt but are we going to emphasize the wrong thing and that's what you want everybody to be remembering no my no no raura miti no if that statement is true surely ah uh, you need help you need help there is no one who is bitter like that that bitterness is just too much and to the people to the bloggers 
especially the UPND uh, propaganda media. I think what, what happened today should uh, send a message to you. What happened today should send a message to you. We had the minister, the, the central province minister, the, the permanent secretary, the permanent secretary from, um, from um, information, the DC was here, and other leaders from the UPND, they came. From my point of view, that is how we should live. We can differ in politics, but when before such a situation, what really happened today is what, we sh what should be happening. Is what should be happening. We are political parties, we are clubs. We are political clubs. Political clubs, that's what we are. And when somebody dies like that, I mean, we should be able to come together and mourn as fellow politicians, mourn our fellow politician. I want to really commend, you know, uh, those that, that, that came, and the President Haka Inde Ichirima himself. I want to commend them. I want to commend him because if President Haka Inde Ichirima didn't want, that minister wouldn't have come. That minister wouldn't have come. It's because Haka Inde Ichirima wanted that to happen. So I want to look at the I want to look at the positive. This time around I want to look at the positive and the positive is that that is what we should continue doing. That's what should be happening. So me I'm commending I'm commending the UPND, I'm commending President Aka in the for sending those people to come. I know there are some people who are actually suspecting foul play in the death of Tutwa Ngulube. People are suspecting foul play. I have received so many phone calls. Tell be careful, tell be careful, tell be careful, tell be careful. You know, these people are killing and what and what and what and what. I want to be very honest with you. And I've said this over and over on my platform. I'm not taking away those who are having their own speculations and everything. I'm not going to comment on that. But my, my personal point of view, my personal point of view, I will tell you that we are alive not because we are careful. Not because we are careful. Not because we have got this and that and that to protect us. No. No. We, are, we survive by the grace of God. I have even my relatives worried for me because people are calling them. No, these people have started killing. These people have started killing. Tell your child, my mother was calling me. Please be careful where you are. Don't drink water. Don't eat anything. What? What? I don't know. I don't know. But for me, I am alive not because I am careful. I'm alive not because I'm intelligent. I'm alive not because I, 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 I have a gun. Not because I, I have a house which is full of security all around. No, it's not why I'm alive. I drove all the way from Lusaka up to here. How many people have died over this stretch? How many? So many people have died over this stretch between Lusaka and Kawe. A lot of them have died. How many people have died within Lusaka? How many people have died within Kawe? So, me, I strongly believe, and I want to comfort, if it, if, it, if it is any comfort to all those who are worried for me, I want to tell you that I am alive not because I'm intelligent. I am alive because God wants me to live. God wants me to be talking here. Otherwise, I would have been the one in the courtroom and not to today. If that is if if that is what it will, what God wished. But for now, as we are mourning Tutu, for me, I commend the government for coming. I commend them that we are mourning together, and I am praying that for the remainder of the program, it will continue like that. That we will mourn together in peace. Cadres, both from the UPND and the PF, they were there. Cadres 
from the UPND. I took a number of pictures with cutters from the UPND. Post those pictures, those of you who I took pictures with. Post those pictures. Let people see that yes, in as much as politically we don't, we are, we are, we are, we, we are fighting. But you do recognize me as your brother. Because I felt so much loved by the UPND. I felt so much loved. And I love you back. That's why I smiled and embraced you, I hugged you, took pictures with you, in spite of people saying, no, don't touch them, don't touch them, don't touch them, don't touch them. No, you are my brothers and sisters. And you should also show, post those pictures and say, Diane is our brother, as is our brother. Do that. And everyone should accept that. That is how we should live. That is how we are going to move forward.